promise me nothing's gonna change. Nothing's gonna change. Wow. Well, that was the biggest live 2020. Nothing is going to change. Hey, I'm Diego Tinoco, and I hate watching myself. We are going to watch some old footage, some old performances, interviews, and that kind of stuff, and we'll see exactly where my head was at the time. Oh, God. No. Damn, you guys went okay. You guys did your research. Yes. The slow-mo. Okay, so this was 2019. I think season two had just been wrapped. It hadn't came out yet. Living with my buddy who was a cinematographer at the time. And we were just shooting content, you know, nonstop, you know. And we just bought a camera and we, we tested out some footage. We tested out the slow-mo. That's when I was a few pounds lighter and the quarantine pounds hit, you know what I mean? The good old days. I'm sorry if I've been uh, following you all night. My parents always told me to follow my dreams. 26. I'm not an organ. <laughs> oh, dude, God. But I'd be happy to give Okay, it. so first and foremost, I did I did not write those lines. They were given to us. I would never say those cringe pickup lines. Uh, yeah, we were doing a charm battle. I still think I won. Brett Gray, I'm coming back for you. I want the rematch. I remember we had the rap party the night before, and then we had this in the morning, and, and it was just nonstop. You know, we finished up the show, rap party, this, then premiere. It was a good time. I remember that scene, that cast was so freaking itchy. It was the worst thing ever, but it, it looked so real. I remember when the teaser came out, it was trending on Twitter, it was trending on YouTube. It was getting all sorts of numbers. And I was just like, wow, this is this is just, I don't know, it just, it brought up my spirits to a new level. Skateboarding is also a uh, great way of burning off those quarantine pounds. So if you're bored and you're looking for a new exercise to try out, try it out. Oh yeah, so yeah, again, I was uh, filming with my buddy David. Uh, this was around 2020, I believe. You know, I left Los Angeles, everything was closed down. Go back to my hometown down Riverside. And you know, there wasn't much else to do. Everything, all productions were, were shut down at the time. You know, everything, Hollywood is closed at the time. So I was just skateboarding nonstop 24 seven, trying to burn off those quarantine pounds, you know? Just being your friend is a liability. And don't be. Oh. Hey, let's not go there. But we're there. Yeah, I remember that day. We were shooting like on the Disney lot, like the ranch or something like that. I remember I couldn't help but laugh on one of the scenes. It's like, I think Caesar throws a stick at Jamal's neck or something because he's howling like Bigfoot. And uh, that was the funniest scene ever. He's like howling, he's like screaming, and the neck just hits him in the throat. <laughs> it just cracks me up every time I watch it. <laughs> 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 what was that? Yes. Hi. How are you? Oh, wow. That little girl had the case of the giggles that day. It was my father's compadres, best friends, nieces, quince, something like that. You know what I mean? Some, you know how we Latinos do it. My dad asked me, he's like, hey, can you make an appearance? Uh, this girl and, and all of her friends are, are big fans of the show. So I made an appearance. I went down there and there was this little girl and she had the giggles, couldn't stop giggling. Cutest memory I'll ever have. Alrighty, we are all finished watching old clips of myself. It was fun, definitely not doing that again. Check out season four of On My Block, streaming now or soon or whenever. If it's out right now, check it out. All right, bye guys.